what's going on man welcome back to our channel it's been a little Wait, minute it's like two weeks yeah good little two weeks um mm -hmm. yeah it's been a little minute it's been two weeks since we've been on here yeah, yeah. but it, we've been doing a lot of stuff like behind the scenes that we're not going to discuss with y'all like just yet but just know it's been very yeah. it's been very stressful and hectic um yep yeah, so this video today we're basically giving you uh tips and things like we wish we would have known like when we were getting a place honestly yeah, five, yes so do you want to start I'll, I'll go first. okay wait though first thank you to one of our subscribers and supporters who actually uh reached out to me and wanted me wanted us to be able to give this mm -hmm. video so thank you if you are watching thank you so much thank you thank you thank you y'all make sure you guys comment down below comment i mean um dm me at the page dot g or ethan at ethan underscore my k dm her okay yeah, i could dm me what is wrong with you why are you being like that baby all right all right, all right, all right. Our why side. you said that i cut you know i don't want to go social media like that But yeah, that's he, true. He yeah. really isn't. But like, if someone asks him a question, yeah, I'll, you answer. Yeah, I'll answer it. Though, yeah, yeah. But then I can, I can DM me. Okay, so right. tip number one. Number one, credit score. Okay. It'll be down below. Credit score. If y'all don't know, man, get no place. Credit is very big. Yeah. You know I mean, yeah. Most players want a seven or higher. Uh, I like something. Six fifty. Okay, six fifty or lowest. higher. Yeah, the six fifty is the lowest. What, what credit score do you think they should try to be in? I say try to be in like at least seven twenty. Seven twenty or higher. Yeah, seven twenty okay. or higher. Okay. Because the reason why I said because some places want a good credit score. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. And if it's not good, and you're doing like a for like six fifty. Don't get me wrong, you could get a place, but some places. No, won't really take it though. Right. So credit, good, yeah. So credit is a yeah. big part of getting a place. Yeah. So go ahead, that's baby. good. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna piggyback on Ethan. So step, well, tip number two: pay attention to your income debt to ratio mm -hmm. because we're, oh, well. Dang, girl, what you know what that? No, because <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so with your income debt ratio, make sure like you guys. Okay, so, okay, because what I'm about to say, is they're kind of the same. No, 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 no. So, tip number two, your income to debt ratio and your bank statements, because they tie in together. So, majority of places ask for, like, your bank statements. Um, just make sure that they're going to be seeing the withdrawals and your deposits. So some places don't want to see that you are consistently spending a whole bunch of money. Yeah. Um. That there, there's a lot of withdrawals, so they're kind of gonna be like, "So you got a lot of withdrawals, but how are you gonna be able to pay this thirteen hundred, yeah. fourteen hundred type of rent?" That's what I mean by the income to debt ratio. Like you can have the credit and stuff. I mean, they still kind of will put you pass you by with your mm -hmm. credit. But at the same time, they look at them bank statements and make sure like you are not recklessly spending a whole bunch of money yeah. out of nowhere. Like remember when my mom had told you mm -hmm. with your withdrawals and stuff and you thought about your phone, your yeah. iPhone 12 or whatever. That was the only big purchase like you have done. Yeah, but yeah, like they pay attention to that stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like they looking at your day to day. Yeah, like, true. you know what I'm saying? So pay attention to that. Wait, we got a tip number three? Yeah. Tip number three. Yeah. Saving. Oh, yeah. You guys have to save. We did good. Honestly, we should do like a vi uh, another type of video going in depth with that, though. Because mm. we did very great, but go ahead. But yeah, you guys have to save money, though, man. Yeah. Like, me and guys talked about it like. Not a year, year ago. Not, like a year ago. I won't say yeah. years, but yeah. a year ago. A year ago. And you know what I mean? We, we started saving from the day we said it. March. March. We ago. started last year, March. So that was two years ago. Yeah, two years ago. Yeah, it's been two years. Yeah, yeah. March. Yeah, 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 March.
the, yeah, 2020. Yeah, a couple more. Y'all yeah, gotta sink our money in order to get the place. Cause listen, you guys. Yeah. When they say they want that deposit, <laughs> security, yeah. last bro, you gotta have all that money. You gotta, you gotta have all of it. Mm -hmm. And it's not like oh, five hundred dollars. No, I said probably three. your application okay, could be up, up to the. I say your application fee. It, it can range because I've seen some that said seventy. Yeah. But it can range really to seventy to three hundred ish. Yeah. So. Um, and yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I gotta say that money though, man. Yeah, you wanna go more in depth, like what I mean by what that? They, I mean, you know. What I mean by that because what we did. Like for us though, we saved our money from last year, and you know, mm -hmm. of course, you know, I won't talk about our place quite yet, cause you yeah, know, yeah. It's, it's it's something that you know we have stuff for you guys, but yeah. the saving period is very big on getting a place because yeah, cause they don't take a lot from you. Yeah, it is though, and listen though, feel me. I understand some guys might be like, nah, I might have the money, but mm -hmm. that moment, the moment that when they come, you wanna you wanna have all that money that they want. Yeah, I mean, um, like me got it, we got it to have the money that they wanted. What? Yes, we did. No, I'm talking like you know, I'm talking like in our bank, so like my regular bank. Regular bank. Yeah. Okay. We if we have, didn't save. Yeah. yeah. So we did, if we didn't save. Oh, okay. We wouldn't have okay. that money. I was like, yeah. you trying to like uh -huh. put us out there? And I'm saying like you know, uh -huh. we saved our money. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, a method that we did together was basically. Um, oh yeah, we paid every, uh -huh. every month or every two weeks. We paid, like, that's how we started it out yeah. because if you if many of you don't know like i wasn't i did not have a a job at, after uh high school so i was in well we were both was in college mm -hmm. <laughs> okay right, college, right Sorry, college is so okay I wasn't working, working. I, was I was working yes he was working <coughs> oh <coughs> sorry um he wasn't I, I he was working i wasn't working i was focusing on my school and my lash business at the time so how we tried to do it was ethan would deposit in um a hundred dollars maybe every two weeks every two weeks and like for me um i was able to um get some cash and stuff like that while i was not um on, while i was on campus and stuff like that like uh, so i was able to put in my little bit of change 25 or 50 dollars yeah. went like every two weeks so it's not like that up until um well this year mm -hmm. i got me a job and then ethan has him another job yeah, I so that. i ended up started putting more money in there so basically like we're just saying create a type of a uh, schedule for you if you're just the person who's getting it or if you have a a partner boyfriend girlfriend girlfriend mm -hmm. boyfriend 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 or yeah, true. or even a roommate or your friend who's moving in y'all create a schedule uh, together with saving now it's kind of different for friends um to kind of create uh um accounts together you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because even I, we don't have like a joint account yeah, we don't. yet. We want to though, specifically. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we <laughs> we want to have a, a joint account specifically for um our yes expenses that we have to take care of together, basically um, okay, our businesses and our home. Yeah, basically. So we want to do that, but for example. One of my account, one of I opened up another account specifically for this place that we're gonna be getting. Mm -hmm. Well, not this place, but specifically for savings toward a, a potential home yeah, that true, we wanted true, true. because we told ourselves we wanted to get a place in twenty twenty two. Oh God, Oof. not that! I don't even know why that even popped up yeah. in twenty twenty one, and it's twenty twenty one now. So we knew when we wanted to get a place. So um, I opened up a Chase bank account. Mm -hmm. I, I I love Chase. Um, it kind of gives me the business type of vibe for some reason. But I opened up a Chase. Chase um, your dream. I opened up a Chase um, savings account um, and a checking account. But um, 
That's with traveling, but that could be another video too, though. Yeah. Either way, so I open up a savings account and we both deposit um, money in there every week. Every week. Every, every single week. week. No. We do it every week, yeah. regardless if you have payments yeah. to do. But we deposit in money every single week. And, and um, I don't know that money every week, it add up, bro. Yeah. If you don't touch it, mm -hmm. it add up, bro. Yeah. Over the, over the last, last couple of months that, you know, mm -hmm. we do it. Yeah. yeah so and be consistent. Don't stop doing it. Um. Room my dad. No. Oh, that's my mom. Now. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. So it's really good. Uh, for you to do that. So like Ethan said, when they do ask for your first last security application fee, administration fee, all this other little stuff. Oh, Yo, yeah. you guys are pushed up against the wall, like with the money. Right. You know what I'm saying? So y'all have stuff in there, and mm -hmm. then even if they take it out, y'all still putting your money in. Put it in there. Continually do that. Um, okay. Enjoy Guess for me. Uh, tip number. Okay, so. Um, tip number four. So tip number four, I would say. Communicate with your parents or not parents. You don't have any parents if you're not close with their parents. But like, communicate with someone who. Um, is either close to you or like who's been in the situation that you're trying to be in yeah. because they can give you um, a wider aspect of what's going on like for example my mom like yeah. has played like a big part with us trying to do this because I mean she had went through the same process mm -hmm. with getting an actual house and getting a, a, a town home like yeah. owning mm -hmm. like that stuff and then too also it's good having a partner who has been through the same thing because Ethan, mm -hmm. you know, knows how That's it is. <laughs> knows how it is when it comes to moving and everything else like that. So that's really good. It's not kind of good if two people y'all really don't know what to do. But if y'all don't really know what to do, make sure you guys have somebody in your corner. Look, have somebody in your corner um, who has been through the same situation that you're trying to go through because they can give you um insight and help you out throughout the process Thanks, folks. um Michael? yeah tip All five right. tip five finding a place <laughs> finding a place what i mean by that like i understand everyone want a condo townhouse this and that this and that and third or whatever but you gotta think about the prices okay and what come with it you know what i mean yeah yes i'm gonna understand you want you want to stay here though but can you afford living there yeah can you afford the fees mm -hmm. that come with it? The demands that they want? Yeah. So I guess you're saying, like, find the right place that yes. fits what's in your pockets. In your don't, budget, to be yeah. honest. So don't try to, like, I mean, go head over heels, yeah. like, with this big old condo. And you you want to live in it because of the luxury, but you know you're going to be, like, kind of struggling, struggling to put the money in. Because the demand that they require you. Like, if you guys don't understand, like, living in Florida... It's very expensive. Very expensive living in Florida. Well, down, well, South Florida because down, some yeah. people go yeah. up. Yeah. Up. So down South Florida is very hard to stay very. because rent, even buying a house down here, is very expensive. Expensive. You want them to be able to f find the right yeah. place that fits yeah. in your pocket. It's finding a place for you know what I mean. I got Don't go overboard, especially if it's your first time. Yeah, if it's your first time looking for a place. Get me wrong. Every time we guys see a place that we want so bad, but. Yeah. But, but we know that's you know, right. Mm -hmm. So, like, also, we, 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 when you go look for a place, you got to think smart. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I understand, you know, you might think you could afford it, though. But when, when all this stuff come on top of you, the rent, plus the bills, you know, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever fee they got, you know, like the trash, whatever they got, pull. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot, though, at your pocket, though. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that, so, see, there, there, you know, keep in mind, though, don't, don't try to go over beyond to impress your friends or your family members that you got a place but you know yeah think smart with it yeah um yeah so tip number six, number six i want to say and this video is kind of mainly for i can only go based upon being in a relationship yeah you know exactly. like we're moving in with their i will try to make it as um what do you call it versatile it's, 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 as it's. possible but tip number six Make sure that you and your partner are on the same page um, during that whole process. Like, um, 
it it can be very exciting like when you guys are both looking yeah. you know like looking on pages like that stuff or um reaching out to uh realtors and um things like that but make sure you guys are on the same page because like, sometimes the the online stuff image they show you guys can be very deceiving yeah. like you might think oh you found a place for this price you do you know, want to tell them your situation all right so <laughs> All right. Yeah, you can. So for me though, I was online, of course, looking for a place. Yeah. And, and I seen a one bedroom, one bathroom yeah. for this price. Yeah. I said, all right, bet. I called out. They said, of course, you know. Wait, now let them know. Did you tell? Like, did you okay. let me know? But right. I, I didn't tell guys at the time. I mean, because yeah. you know, I just you know, of course, of course, when it happened, I was in the moment. You know, I was in the mm -hmm. moment. You know, so it's like I ain't mm -hmm. tell her. Mm -hmm. So they called me. No, I called them. So I come for the interview yeah. today at five, whatever. Mm -hmm. So I told Gaia, of course, me telling Gaia, she was not aware that I won't do that. You're right, because I had something else going on that I had told E.E. E. about. Mm -hmm. And he didn't let me know about what he had going on. But, like, long story short, there was conflict, basically, because there was yeah, no, no communication. Because we both trying to, we both have mean good um out of both situations but because if a person forgets to like communicate yeah. either way y'all can kind of be like uh so communicate while y'all are looking in the process and even getting every everything i had to get like bank statements face yeah. up like all that talking yeah. to your realtors communicate with your partner don't single-handedly handle stuff even if you feel like let me just secure this like for them yeah. let them know because you never know how they can feel about right, it. Because that could be a big loss, though, to be honest. Yeah. You know what I mean? A big crush. Yeah. So. You got but it. Yeah, yeah. I learned, though, and we... Like, like I said before, yeah, we're, we're both, both still young, and we're both learning, yeah. you know, the ways of getting a place. We're and both either. 20. So. Yeah. So we're both really trying to understand each other, though. Yeah. So. What's yours? All right. Seven. Seven. So, tip number seven. My, 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 my tip number seven is going to be... Don't be, don't be so quick to don't be so quick to settle for anything. Okay, so don't settle. Yeah. Don't rush into it. Yeah, don't, yeah, oh, don't, yeah. don't yeah, rush so into don't it. Yeah, so don't settle. Yeah, yeah. Cause I understand some guys might think, oh, I got this place, mm -hmm. and I want to move in so fast, but mm -hmm. but behind the scenes, could be other. Things. Yeah, it could be other things that you not you don't know about, or you know, mm -hmm. another thing too. You gotta read our contracts though. Cause if y'all don't read our contracts, <laughs> they will, those lease agreements. Yeah. <laughs> They will, you know, get get to you and you know screw you over with your money and other stuff. So and that, yeah, and that tied into mm -hmm. I don't know if that was tip number four or three, but having somebody with you who yeah. has done that, have them read over the stuff with you, or even get somebody who is professional in that right. to read over the document uh, right. with you before right. y'all sign. Because once you sign, it's, and if you didn't read whatever you read, they can really yeah. like mm -mm. They, they, they can really break you. you know yeah. what I mean, okay. so. That's like, like I said before, don't don't rush into things, though, man. Yeah. I, I understand, you know what I mean. We, we might be young and stuff like that. Y'all might be young, yeah. whatever though. But don't rush it, cause I understand. Mm -hmm. Like you might get happy, you wanna yeah. move in immediately, yeah. you know, get your keys, go on Instagram and post. Yeah. <laughs> um, don't rush to it, though. Yeah. I mean, don't. That's good, baby. Don't do it. Um, for me, uh, tip number uh, eight. Y'all okay? Prioritize what you want in your home. Basically, good, good. because that helps you guys, it helps both of you or singly, if you're a person who's just mm -hmm. going to get something yourself. It helps both of you or just you as a person find a place. Because, for example, let's say if Ethan wanted to make sure like there was a dishwasher, a patio, lunch, I mean, what is it? washer dryer in mm -hmm. unit and i wanted pantry lots of storage space yeah. so when you guys look at stuff when you already automatically don't see mm -hmm. majority of the stuff you want you automatically can just take that off your list another thing too you saying that you have to compromise also that, that go back to you know communication i mean because mm -hmm. you guys have to talk about the place mm -hmm. it's good Actually, to sit down to do yeah that. for real guy 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 can love the place like i hate the place mm -hmm. I mean, don't make it one sided. Yeah, everything gotta be 50 50 with each other, you know what I mean? For real. Everything gotta be 50 50. Because mm -hmm. we could live in a house and I might not feel happy or not at all. Yeah. Like, I could, I could love and feel happy. Yeah. I might not feel happy though. Yeah. So, um, and also, I feel like this is sometimes 
with every every place depending on your finances if you mm -hmm. can be able to buy what you can buy but um realistically you know everybody don't have that yeah. bank up there you know what i'm saying but um you have to compromise because you're not always going to get everything that you want in a place for your first time first or time. whenever you can you can get everything you want once you have the finances mm -hmm. that credit score and everything else but just starting out, just know you have to compromise. So have a list of your main priorities. This is something I got to have in there. And um, sometimes, and then too, put what um, what you can work with. Like if there was no dishwasher, okay, yeah. I can work with that. Or, you know, little things yeah. like that. Because you're going to have to compromise. Because if it's the place that you like, the location and all that, it, it, you got to come. It's going to be that one-off thing that, yes. you, that you might be like, dang yeah. My screen up. What's your nine? Eight? Nine line? Yep. Oh, nine. Yeah. Ah, damn it, damn. It's a budget. Is that same as say? Nah. Uh -huh. Budget. I mean, my budget. Like you gotta make sure you got you got oh, things in order. When, baby. When you come to your bills, your outside expensive. 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 You're funny. You're cute. Even your car. You know what I mean? Just stuff like that. You gotta, you gotta talk about it. Like for example, me and Gaia, we talked about it way before we even got a place on what what she paid and what what I pay and how things will work you know what I mean, in our place. Mm -hmm. Cause don't get me wrong, if you guys don't talk about it and y'all just just get the place and and just automatically kind of feel comfortable knowing like okay yeah he know he's gonna pay yeah. this or, uh, or don't she, assume or she gonna pay that yeah but don't, don't assume just cause y'all yeah. together and y'all like happy that y'all wanna get a place that everybody knows like their role that they supposed to play it's like. not it's not cause like me and I talked about it like I told guy I will play I will pay the lights she pay the Comcast. Yeah, and the cable. Yeah, the cable. And, and he said, like, if it's low or whatever, and he, like, he'll just both take low, care I'll of I'll take it. care of both of them. Yeah, but don't automatically put that in. Uh, for, I'm sorry. Ladies. Let, okay. Okay. Let's you not. Ladies. Even, <laughs> let's not automatically. Let's not automatically um have the men, like, take on. Everything, even though like majority of girls like, oh no, my man's gonna have to pay my bills, or I'd rather man pay all my bills. It's better if y'all communicate first, yeah. yeah. And if he and if he says, if this is lower than this, I'll just say I'll mm -hmm. just take care of it. But please do not have that mindset of, oh, you supposed to take care of the lights, da da da. I'll mm -hmm. take care of maybe half of the rent. Don't have that mindset because y'all both coming in here together. Because if that's the case, he could have got himself his own place. Facts. So don't be coming with the mindset because y'all know how we all can Facts. be. Some of us when it comes to I want my man to pay all my bills. Facts. You can't expect that if y'all didn't communicate that. So in this case, Ethan said mm -hmm. if it's low or whatever, he'll pay for it. True. I didn't automatically assume like, yeah, mm -hmm. he's going to pay for it because he's my man. That's what he's supposed to do like as a provider. So. Yeah, that's why I said y'all got to budget your money because yeah. listen, bro, I understand we I still bring a place together though. You you still wanna do outside things like travel, go to the club, go eat. Oh yeah, we gonna. Oh my god, yeah. Don't get too much into that because we we gonna create a video about the the yeah. the traveling those expenses. Cause, bro, cause mm -hmm. of course like I said before, I I, oh I I I grew up you know how to budget my money and guy grew up on how to budget her money. So you know, it's like when we got a place together, you know, it won't really break us because we mm -mm. we we we're not how to budget our money though. And we're not, and we're not crazy spenders either. Yeah, we're not though. So if you with somebody who is a crazy spender, y'all need to have a conversation. Like, look, you you might have to die down on yeah. buying them clothes, sis, or he got to die down I'm on buying them shoes, buying them shoes, uh, just going out, I'm buying I whatever mean, games, or whatever know. case. Y'all got to compromise if you got a person who yeah. does spend like crazy. And luckily, but, we're not. You tip, don't want yeah, tip number 10. So tip number 10. For tip number 10, I would say it kind of was the same as you. Mm -hmm. But um, both of y'all. Uh, okay. Tip number 10. Calculate how much y'all make together. Okay. That's how. Uh, the reason why I say that is because, for example, Ethan will total out how much he'll, how much, by how much he gets paid. So mm -hmm. if you get paid weekly, 
will figure out how much you get paid yeah, true. a month. Facts, facts. Same for me. Y'all both total that up together and then take out your like regular life expenses. Whatever you left with, that's how much you can budget for a place. Yeah, facts. Honestly, you can't just randomly say, oh, let's just do 1200 or let's just do fifteen no. without sitting down and actually um, talking about how much each other makes from your job. And basically, though, basically, like, I would say when you're in a place, it's all, it's all about the money. It's all about money. It's, just, mm -hmm. it's a money game. Money game. If you don't have the money, you can't get a place. Yeah. If you don't have the credit... Can't get a place. And you don't and and you don't wanna you don't wanna scramble and my big model is is just I don't want to get a place mm -hmm. and I don't wanna be in a place with someone like who I love and have to be stressed out about scrambling about getting money because that Something. takes away the beauty of having a place with someone that you love, enjoying it when y'all really are stressing and trying to figure out how we gonna pay this. And that stress right there comes with arguments, fights. That can cause a relationship. Up. So like I said before, y'all gotta budget your money. Well and that's tip number nine. Yeah, budget your money and, and, and tip number ten, calculate how much y'all make together. Tip number three or four Communication, though, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's the sure. only way y'all can y'all will get through, get like in the place. Because it's yes. not easy, though, man. Yes. It is not easy. Make sure to have someone who has been in the same situation as you, um, to read over agreements, documents, and even be with you throughout the process, and even talk to realtors, um, because they know what to say. Because sometimes, yes. depending on your age, you know what I'm saying. They can really just say anything to you and you might understand. So make sure you got somebody on your side who can. Facts though. Who and, knows what to and, say. A, and a bonus tip don't trust all realtors. Not all realtors know what they're talking about. <laughs> Facts, yeah. Facts. Yeah. All so right. to sum up, either you. What? <laughs> Okay, to sum up this video and see the other yeah. the other parts that we said. But you guys, we love you guys. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. It, it's like what I, what we have in store for it, it's coming very soon. Fire. Hopefully, it's coming soon. But um, we will be. We're probably gonna um, put out another video uh, like this in regards to um, uh, traveling or something. Fire too. But we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And I noticed that we have 107 subscribers. True. Like, yes. Wow, well, I haven't. Period. Y'all better do it. I mean, I haven't been on YouTube for a little minute, though. Yes, but oh my gosh. But thank you guys for 107, almost to 110 subscribers. Let's run it up to 200 subs. We love you guys. Uh, comment down below um, if you guys did like this. Like this video. Thumbs up. Give this, give this six. Not nah, ten, cause, cause we did ten courses. Give it. Okay, 10, give, give us ten likes. ten likes. Um, if you give us ten likes, that lets us know that you like this, and we'll do one. Um, in regards to um, traveling. Mm -hmm. Uh, how how you can you know? Five zone. Stay for that and stuff like that. So right. thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh huh. Comment down below any other things that you guys would like to know. Or what, or what other videos, challenges that you guys would like to see from us. And we'll see y'all in another video. Bye. We out. Deuce. Bye.